Good morning guys! Welcome to my August Orchid Collection update. As you can see here, this pretty lady right here, beautiful Phalaenopsis, is in full bloom. Yeah. Look at that guys. There she is. And in the other, the back over there, way farther in there, that's my um, tiny twinkle in there. It's still blooming. It's been blooming for quite some time. There were there, there are three spikes right there. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm trying to reach out over there. It's quite far. Yeah. But this beauty of a girl right here. There. Yeah. I had a fan in the back, that's why it's it's moving and it's when it's moved like that it's not quite as focused. But look at that. I missed them when I was in the Philippines and uh, yeah. And this beauty right here is my um Bretonia Shilab Tolkien. This is a division of the ones outside of um, I experimented. This one is the flower from the semi hydro. I have one spike in this one. Yeah, semi hydro. This one spike has been blooming for quite some time too. It's all opened up already. And the one in the um, in the bark medium hanging outside is doing well because those one have four spike two on its um one soda bulbs yeah this one in a semi hydro only have one spike this one here is my maui beautiful maui yeah maui uh, african violets yeah these are the blooms that i have here inside my um, kitchen room these are my um, EV my EV right there and look at this case. still have this this one's been blooming for a long time as well focus this is the Phalaenopsis Phalaenopsis and over passion it won't focus I'm sorry guys there Semi hydro, she's gorgeous. And this one, I just call them ever blooming because they take forever to um to just like die, you know. <laughs> they just like oh my god, like they keep blooming in there. And this one is a secondary spike. Yeah, it looks like it's not done growing as well. Yeah, the tip is still young and uh, fresh, gorgeous. And my um, cacti collection, they really thrive right there. It's beautiful. And as you notice, I got rid of the heart-shaped philodendron because there's no more in the ceiling right there. All gone on both sides, all around. It used to be in the ceiling. All right, it was gorgeous up until uh, they make my orchid. Uh, sick it carried um aphids and and scales and stuff like that so i don't know how that got in there but i have to get rid of it and now i have those corner i just left some of those dragon um hawaiian dragon plants right there yeah and this one is just i just cleaned this up today my um mermaid kiss african violet I have more of this AV African Violet. Look at that. This is my sensation. You can purchase a lot of African Violets in the, the um, bloomlovers.com based in Canada. Like that. There's a lot of selections in there. I just ran out of room for them. That's why. And look at these guys. When I arrived in the Philippines, there were like a lot of this one, and then it started um, browning up. It really like there, and that's the 
containers and just in the water. Yeah. Look at this, guys. And I'll show you this experiment from that time until now, and it never gave me um, kiki. Look at that. That's how old is that the cut planopsis spike and the moss. I wash this container, no contamination. That's every that's inside in this container, just the spike and a clean vase. And then look what happened. Look at the moss that's growing in there. They are so tall now. Look at that. That's how long. And I did not put a spore in there or something. They just appear on itself. I don't know. Magical. That's the time when I started it. And I still didn't get kiki. So the experimenting like that. Kiki and cut spikes. It's not true. For me at least. Yeah. And that EV is starting um, flower buds now. Which is great. Because they're so pretty. And this is my Lycasti guys that I've been growing for a couple of years. And then um, it's finally blooming. It's been blooming for, I think this is approaching a second week for this one. It has um, element damage in there when we had a dangerous thunderstorm. Look at that. And something um, hit this one or maybe a slug ate this. And look at that. That's the flower of this um, Lycasti. There's the name there. Like Casti by Skinnerai by Brivispata. Yeah. And by Brivispata. Hmm. Yeah. Look at that. It was so young when I got this one and it's grown up and I did not know how to take care of it. So and I just like um water it when it need watering. It's in the bark medium and I put slow release fertilizer in it and once in a while I will hit that with this um Miracle Grow um, uh, water soluble with my um, other vegetables like that and also sometimes I put 20-20-20 um, balance uh, water soluble fertil fertilizer something like that they all get this there's no such thing uh, I don't do a special kind of treatment and stuff so whatever the other orchid gets they all get them yeah and this one, they are thriving here in this basket. Look, I, I love this brand new growth. The leaves is so fresh. And I keep, I always keep an eye in the center. They, they are still tender. And always the, keep an eye on the mealybugs in there. Yeah, this one are new, shiny ones. New, new, new. That avocado, I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm not going to bring that in the inside anymore. It's too tall. So, this one here is the cymbidium. The leaves still quite shiny. I'm due to um, spray these leaves with um, neem oil. Right now, I run out of neem oil and just I am just so busy lately. I'm probably going to be busy forever <laughs> in my life. <laughs> so, this one. So, um, I can really take care of this one like maybe in the weekend now. Stuff like that. And I'm I welcome rain. I need need rains a lot. I have a mixture of um babies in here. Look at that. This one is really getting lush. Like it loves the outdoors. That's the Dendrobium kingiano. Yeah. That's I grew the one from my kiki. Look at that guys. Lunch in here and I got some panda in the pot. More nobilis like that. Nice guys, and this one is a sherry baby, making you, and this banda thriving here. This one, it has a sheath right there, but I don't know if it's, um, it has a body, I don't know that. This one, I think it aborted, uh, let's see here, probably it aborted um, the sheath right here, but I'm not sure yet. Still have a lot of growing to do. Yeah. And this one over here, we missed this bloom. Yeah, that bloom done. And then this one is still thriving. Just one, it's like out of season blooming of my um, nobly. 
and we missed some of those one over there too it got spent already yeah oh look at that guys I've never seen this one in uh, my orchid outside for um four days like I said I was just so busy after the vacation and then back to reality and I just got so busy and look that one I'll go to the other side and show that to you that's a catlia yeah look at this guys isn't she a beauty oh my god what a surprise surprise <laughs> I love this oh my god it has um this is the second time it bloom oh the the first one it bloom it was um, oh the last time I showed you in this bloom it was I uh, know in winter and look at that guys and this one had more blooms because it's it was um growing outside it is growing outside and the uh, last one that I show this babies it has um small amount of blood counts right up oh, um, I'm sorry what I said it's a smaller count of the blooms yeah look at this this one had more more than the last time that was that's an an improvement if you ask me and there are still buds hadn't opened yet I'm so excited I can't even talk <laughs> look at that guys it's so amazing it's just like a pom-pom oh, look at that it's so gorgeous I love it love it oh anyway but the name is the hang on it is my ETT Volcano Trick Volcano Queen. See, I think it is. Yes, there is to be sure. Mhm. Mm I am so excited, guys. Very, very beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. And I got a lot of um new growth and uh. In my these are all my nobilis. I love this they like it here they thrive on my care and then uh, they're gonna give me blooms in the winter again inside the grow room and this one right here just a solitary it's supposed to be out of season blooming for this uh, maxillaria tunifolia it's still thriving it's been like blooming for like that one is like close to a month I don't know yeah it has a beans and eh, beans growing in there I'm gonna have to clean that one it's almost getting winter again so I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna harvest the beans because the beans look at that it's climbing in the leaves my maxillaria how dare you beans there and it's look at that guys it's like a bush now so bushes in this um hanging basket with lined with um coconut fiber it's getting bigger in there look at that guys and when I planted this in here it was just a tiny tiny plant and three years later voila I think three two and a half maybe close to it close to three years not sure yeah but look at that it's getting bushy I love it love it love it put that in the big hanging baskets I want it to fill up the basket because I love big orchids yeah Look at this butterfly gloxinias. I propagated from the leaves. That's the red one. It's spent already. Damaged from the elements. And this one, the purple one. Gorgeous. Look at that, guys. So gorgeous. Yeah. Missy. Oh, this one, guys. I feel so sad about this. About this um Katlia. It has uh, two or three blue uh, buds in it, but one day I came uh, five days ago, came with them and I saw um, they were like bitten by a slugs or maybe wood lice, or whatever vermin in here, a pest, and they were just hanging over and then they're falling off because they were eaten. I was so sad about that. 
And look at how happy the Dendrobium spectabile in here, guys. Outside, this one is struggles. Uh, I struggle to raise this one inside the house like this, but outside, look, they have a gigantic um, new growth in there. But I did manage to um, uh, flower this inside the house. I think it was a stress bloom. Stress blooming, that's why. But in the outside, oh my god. I feel so bad that they have to go in, back in during the winter. My youngest, um, Symbidium. This is, I think, the green king art, something like that. Um, hang on. The green giant. It's, it's having a new growth out there. That's a seedling when I got that one. And look, guys. This is my, um, my old, um, Psygopedalum. And it's giving me two spikes. Uh, the, the one to the bulb. It's giving me a new s two spikes. Like I said, they really love the outdoors. <gasps> oh, this one. Look at the leaves. The leaves is rounded. It's, it didn't open, but there's water in the inside look at that this is a leaf guys one leaf and it's it it didn't open but there's water in the inside it's like a tube full of water oh well, i'm not gonna cut that out it might get infected so I'll just leave it like that but this is the bloom i forgot what's called but i don't care about the name right now i just want the bloom yeah Look at that. This is uh this is the only zygo I have in the in the bark medium and the moss. The others are in the semi hydro. I I baby this one. <laughs> but this is the one the the rough and and um always like get transferred back inside the house and back outside. It's the one that has a lot of blooms. It's amazing. Look at that high side. Look okay, at the hinge lip. Like that. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And what we have here, we have a one two three spikes on this insidium type is my alicera halo ablaze i think yeah halo ablaze so you got one it's getting taller it's two and three yeah and um, behind it is the big part of cymbidiums yes yeah and that's more of my cymbidiums and these are my um, catacetum type orchid guys, catacetum type orchid. And look at that, so brand new big pseudo bulb in there. Yeah, some catlia, some turmeric, some um, the mud, the dendrobium kingianum. And this one here, look how big this is my swan orchid, catacetum type orchid. Look at that, guys. I put this one in this big pot because it was so heavy before, it, and the plastic pot just won't won't do it for this one. So I put in this heavy container. It just laid in there. Look how big is that? How that massive is that pseudo bulb? This is this year's um pseudo bulb. Look at that. That's my hand. It's my hand. And then look at the pseudo bulb, guys. It's humongous. Look at that, guys! It's all the way there. How oh, humongous is that? This is my Signuris Taiwan Gold Orange. Ah, oh, look at the leaves. I wish that one is gonna give me more spike. That's gonna be so gorgeous in the winter. And this is my Kurashiki. It was so pretty when it was blooming inside. It was so covered with um, with blooms. It's shriveling in here now. It hasn't been 
um, keeping up with the water in this one. But the new baby, the new cane, it's um, juicier and fattier. Right? I try to uh, to repot this one, but oh my god, it won't come off in the clay. I'm just gonna have to find a way to do that, like break the clay somehow. Yeah, but there's a lot of new babies going in there. And I can't wait for this one to get covered with blooms again. Because I separated this in here because of, there were a lot of um, mealy bugs in them. Like in the, the babies, especially the one from the base. It's trying to eat them. Yeah. The thing is, I, I really... I'm, this one is due to be uh, sprayed by name oil again. Hasn't been keeping up with that. I'm so bad. And that one that's the hanging. It has a two new new pops or new um growth with the gramatophyllum right there. And this one is the Mermicophila. Like that. Yeah, it's right there. I love them the hanging basket, but in the inside the house I can't hang them because they're heavy. Yeah. I just put them in the container and then sit them aside on the floor. Yeah. Got more orchids in here. Got Leah, the babies, and this are very nice. Dendrobium nobly. And look at this guy. Oh, uh, the the spikes. Excuse me. The spike got damaged by the when when we had a dangerous um, thunderstorm and it was just heavy rains and stuff like that. It damages the spike. And look at this one. This one's resting in my um um desert rose. My banco for um look that I planted this um desert rose from seed. They're growing but the the spike on my dendrobium fall is resting on it. Yeah. They are long lasting flowers but because of the bad um storm it knocks them over like that. Now the other one is kinda done. Yeah. Now look at that. It's my um, a burana, the northern burana, I think. I don't know. Yeah, got that bloom. Now it's still holding by itself. I removed the the desert rose in the bottom, like that. Cool. And still have lots of tom tomatoes, guys. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Lots of tomatoes. And what's going on with my hanging Ancidium here? Oh my god, five days ago this one was so gorgeous. No? Got this. Bad thunderstorm. I knock out this um spike. Look at that guys. This is my Buragira. Ancidium type. Isn't she adorable? Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it hanging there. It goes the name. Leopoldo and Chita. That one right there is thriving. Got more tucked in, in there. That's orchids. Hanging ones. Let's see this one. Let me try. It was raining yesterday. This is the spent flower in there. I lost I lost the um, sister of this um angraecum. It was in a um, semi hydro and it just kicked the bucket. I should have um should have um pay attention to that one because I brought it outside and then it got knocked over by the squirrels and it never got recovered. Yeah. And this um this banda right here it got so stressed out from the I think bad like uh something inside infection I think. Oh I lost I lost the tip man this is growing this is what happened growing um uh, outside guys you can't help it but the orchid is trying to um save itself by making a couple of kiki right here, see? Kiki, still have the green tips though. That's that's a good sign. That one, it got knocked over by the squirrel. 
again and I try to save that and put back in the basket and it's and move it here and it's trying to make two new new babies yeah this one the bloom I missed because I went to the Philippines so I have to move it in there it looks like there's may leaves in there but I'm not sure it has a new lush leaves though very good and that one guys my orchid cactus that's the first time ever that it showed that I think you all know what that is sorry about the shakiness I zoomed it in that is um first flower bud of my um orchid cactus guys yeah it, it couldn't flower in the inside where I put that last year because it was um darker room yeah I didn't have any artificial light in there so and it love it here under the shade cloth side yeah wow it's great it has ripe tomatoes right there and that's a hanging orchid orchids in there more orchids lots of orchids and other plants oh look shocking I, oh she got she got rid of the older one and now she replaced it with this haven't haven't noticed that before this is my orange butterfly my psychopsis and the ones that oh my god it has a split look at okay, this oh, the spike I call it a split but it's actually uh, it grows a secondary spike in the tip oh my god I will have plenty of blooms in this baby see that guys it looks like a V I never noticed that five days ago. Oh, I didn't look up. How awful of me, huh? <laughs> oh, there's like um, uh, I think too much moisture. There's like looks like a mold, mold in there or something. Or I don't know. It's just a damage, and it's trying to um fix it. Turns black. Yeah, unbelievable. It's my pal. Look at this guy. This tiny seedling, ATT Volcano Trek Volcano Queen. I got this for um, uh, maybe I think less than a year, and it was just a seedling, tiny seedling. But look, it grows so fast, and it has a uh, the new two um, cane. It's growing that just by being outside. Look, this one in the in the one that crooked one. There's another one. It has a sheath in there. Sheath and it looks like it's gonna filled up. Yeah. Oh and this one. It finally look at that. <laughs> look at that guys. It is still looking pretty. My Phalaenopsis uh joy fairy tale. This one, two spikes. Look. Humongous. Yeah. Oh look at this fall. In a semi hydro, it's not the best bloom because usually this one had a bigger bloom, but I put it outside because it got attacked by the scales inside. So I put this outside because so that I can spray this with neem oil. Yeah, so neem is it's, um, it's trying to get a new leaves, but it got eaten and the new leaves got split. This one it has two in there, you know, and then this one got a new spike. This is my Cycopsis Mindenhall Hildos, right there. A new spike, yeah. New thing. And it's making a new one right there. Oh, bloom. And this one, it has still have a kiki. And a kiki in there, there's a species. Um, fall. And look at that, guys. From my Cycopsis also. Focus. It's focusing in the background. I can't believe it. Anyway, that one right there. This is my semi hydro um, zygo and semi hydro zygo. It grows new one, but just maybe being outside or something. I don't know. Semi hydro and this one. You can see the kiki and this um, um, corner survey uh, species fall. I, I'm not happy about the leaves or the spots in there. Yeah. And that one, the uh, Mangricum Magdalene. Uh, Magdalene. Look at that. It has a 
three babies right there. I have to pull out the pull out the ferns that grow with it. Yeah. Yeah. And this one guy, okay. look at the green root tips on this fall. Look at that. It just love being outside. That's why it breaks my heart when they go indoors, you know? This one, it's um, changing new leaves because in the inside, they got attacked by uh, scales again and all these bad leaves. I want to get rid of it and change the new one. So, so far it's being successful. Nice one. in the semi-hydro as well. That cut Leah in there. How does she is in there? Might not be clear. But this, this one here. Thriving. Uh, it looks like it's gonna have a bud soon. Yeah, this is the one that I cut out from the yeah cut out from the mother plant, and I put in hang basket. It has um, um buds. Awesome. My new pin piece pitcher plant is getting bigger, and it has a new uh, pitcher right here. It's a new pitcher. Gorgeous. Yeah. And. This one right here, it has a big spike. This is a dancing lady in the semi-hydro. Yeah, you can see in there the spike. Yeah, semi-hydro ones. This is my mariposa psychopsis. It's got a lot of new growth. Ooh, we got the dance. But, uh, it grows. And uh, centropetalum, epidendum centropetalum. There's a lot of new growth in that. Nice. And a uh, bud in my cattleya right here. <laughs> Only one solitary cattleya bloom. Wow, and the elements broke this ancidium, right? Beautiful flower. This cutlia here had a sheath, and this one also had a sheath in here. You want and there's um spikes in this um gigantic ancidium. Cut weight. That's my Tahoma glacier in bloom. So gorgeous. And this is my spider orchid, guys. Look at that, it's blooming again, awesome, four spike of my Shilob Tolkien, how cool is that, yeah, I have a cup, I have a couple of buds under my Miltasha Dark Star, because some of the spike got ruined by the heat when I was in the vacation, so I was, I left with two only, which is fine, yeah, at least they recovered, they're already back in their swing in here. They're not in the direct sunlight, so they're gonna thrive here for a um, little while until I put them back in indoors. My Tahoma Glacier again. It's so gorgeous, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna see bye for now because my phone is gonna stop recording anytime. I don't know why there's a timer on this, but that's it. These are my ancidium here, it recovered from the burning sun while I was away another look at my spider orchid yeah